Fun fact, it is 63 degrees in my house right now and I'm super happy about it. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of whatever this mess is. If I learned anything from my last video, it's to back up from the camera. Because this, mm, too close, too close. Now unlike my last video, I actually have an actual, actual, actually, 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 actual theme. This video has a theme. And that theme is Fuck You 2013. Hmm, kind of rhymed. Back in October of 2012, I found this post on Tumblr. It's where you write down all the good things that happened to you that year on scraps of paper and then put it in a jar. Then on New Year's Eve, you open said jar and basically reminisce about everything good that happened to you that year. Now, I was doing pretty good for a while and then summer happened and there were some events that basically affected a whole lot of the items that I put into the jar. So I had to take a lot of the stuff out and restart. And if you haven't already guessed by what I just told you, this is what the video is going to be about. So without further ado, pathetic, isn't it? Now much like 2012, 2013 sucked. And <laughs> don't get me wrong, 2013 was pretty awesome, but a lot of the bad stuff that happened unfortunately overshadowed the good. So I thought it'd be fun to open the jar and basically share with you guys the six happy moments that I still have left from 2013. Now there's one note in particular that I am kind of hesitant to open simply because we'll get to that when it happens. Oh! <laughs> I forgot this even happened. The note reads, January 15th, are you saved? Highway to Hell, Agnes of God. I was waiting at the transit center for my bus to leave that day when an elderly gentleman got on the bus, handed me a pamphlet that said, Are You Saved? At the time I had my headphones in and Highway to Hell was playing and I was reading out of a acting book and the scene that I was reading was Agnes of God. It's just one of those things where you're like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, cool. Oh. January 13th, first 10 bracelets sold. Okay. Now for those of you who don't know, my friend and I actually sell fandom inspired charm bracelets on Etsy and if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description box below. Ha! Hmm. This one was back in July, it was on the 19th. And it reads, went on a road trip to California. What had happened was my friend and I left after rehearsal one evening to drive all the way down to San Diego, California in hopes of returning two days later to go back to rehearsals. Now while the reasoning behind me actually going down to San Diego in hindsight was absolutely ridiculous, I did enjoy myself. Let's just rip this one in half, why don't we? <gasps> oh, this one doesn't have a date on it. Now this one reads, cast as Musa and Bengal Tiger at the Baghdad Zoo. I hated this play. Now at the time when I got cast as Musa, I was actually very excited. He played one of the most important roles in the play and actually had quite a bit of lines, which was a change from all my other roles. Fun fact, I had to learn Farsi in a month. That was fun. In addition to having to memorize my lines and learn Farsi in such a short amount of time, I was also helping with set design and I was the costume manager for the show. So there was a lot of stress going on and it kind of took away from the enjoyment of the show as a whole. But regardless of what had happened, it was an amazing show and it's a really good thing to have in my portfolio, so I guess that's good. Only two more left. Hmm. July 8th, surpassed, is that, a, is that the word? I can't read my handwriting. Surpassed 10,000 views on Etsy. Well, like I previously said, my friend and I own a store on Etsy and you should check it out. Now there's only one sticky note left in the bottle. And at the beginning of this video, I said that there was one <laughs> note in particular that I was hesitant to open. And as luck would have it, it's the last one in there. What really sucks is that this is one of my favorite memories of the past year and at the same time it also led to one of my least favorite memories. Now I didn't plan this because this isn't something that I want this segment to end on. But... Uh, October 17th, 
He asked. I said yes. Hmm. Now this note obviously will need quite a bit of explanation to it, so just sit back and relax because we're about to delve into story time. Back in late September, I decided to do this really quick cosplay of this character called Carlos from Welcome to Night Vale. It was a really quick thing. I decided to throw on a couple things I found in my closet and kind of worked. What I didn't expect is for this guy named Lance to find it and basically become extremely infatuated with me. So, And he literally told me one time that when he saw this cosplay, all he thought was, I need to know that guy. So we started talking on Tumblr and Skype, and a couple weeks later I decided to give him my number. Now what had happened was that I accidentally let it slip that because of my schedule I very frequently forget to eat. So as a joke he said, do I need to text you every day to remind you to eat? And me being the smartass that I am decided to dare him to do it. And he did. And almost every day after that he texted me either asking me if I've eaten or reminding me to eat with some sort of threat of physical violence. But it was all good because I was absolutely crazy about this guy and he was crazy about me too. Then on October 17th, thanks to some encouragement from his best friends, a bottle of wine, and a game of Truth or Dare, he sent me a video asking me if I would be his boyfriend. And I said yes. Now we both acknowledged that it was pretty fast because we'd only known each other for a month at this time, but everything was just kind of perfect so we decided to go for it and then began the best three weeks of my entire life from that point on we basically fell more and more in love with each other but then on November 13th I received a phone call from his best friend saying that Lance was involved in a hiking accident he fell approximately 40 feet down and suffered a massive cranial fracture and died about an hour later and that's basically the story of my first relationship even though we only knew each other for a couple months and were together half that time, I learned quite a bit from this guy. He taught me a lot about myself and about what I find beautiful or what I find attractive. And he also became a very big source of creative inspiration and a big motivation in my life. Now do you understand why I was hesitant? Yeah. Now despite what had happened, this will still be my favorite memory from 2013 because a lot of good actually did come from it. And I am going to keep the note. So it's a symbol of motivation and inspiration. So there you have it. That was my very fun and happy year. So the jug is now empty and hopefully I can fill it with some better memories. So there you have it. My second video done and finished and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully better than the last one. I plan on putting out videos every Friday, maybe Thursday if I don't have anything going on. And class is starting up on Monday so hopefully there'll be some good content for you guys. So like, comment, and subscribe, and all that other fun stuff that YouTubers say before they sign off. And I'll see you guys later.